Software AG's Natural One is based on the Eclipse open source platform. Eclipse is currently the most widely used integrated development environment in the world. The Eclipse platform offers the ability to integrate functionality through so called plugins. Software AG has bundled all the functionality needed for natural programming into a single plugin. The first time you start up Natural One, you'll be welcomed by a screen which displays all the installed products. The first thing we do is to open the Natural One perspective. We now see the default Natural One perspective with a number of windows, which are called views. You are able to configure which views you want to see and where they are placed in the perspective, and we'll see examples of that as we go through these tutorials. Everything in Natural One is organized around a project, so the first thing we need to do is create a new project. We'll do so by right-clicking in the Navigator view, selecting New, and then Natural Project. We'll call it My Project and click Finish. And inside this project, we'll create a new natural library by right-clicking New, Natural Library, My Lib, and Finish. Then, inside that library folder, we'll create a new source in the folder SRC, in our case, a program called Hello World, and finish. Now we're ready to start programming. As expected, the first thing we may want to do is write Hello World, and we'll save the file by pressing Ctrl S. The source is now located only in the local project, and we will need to compile it. So right-click, select Natural One, and then Update. Now the object code is built, and we can run the program. We do that by selecting Run As and Natural Application. We can see the result of our program here. Let's take a quick look at the other views in the perspective. We already took a brief look on how to use the Navigator view to navigate in projects, and how to use the Standard Editor view. On the right-hand side of the screen, there are three views that give us information about the currently loaded source. At the right top is an outline view of the source code, where we can see sections of the source, and can step down into these with a click. In the middle view, you will find the dependencies from the object in the editor to other objects. And at the bottom is information about the source file itself. In the bottom middle section, there is an area where we can view information about the console, details, problems, and tasks that need to be completed. And finally, the bottom left-hand area displays a server view that shows connections to natural environments. Let's take a look at how we connect to existing server environments. To connect to an existing server environment, we'll right-click and choose Map. Specify a name and the port number of the server, credentials if this is a secure environment, and then finish. Now we're connected to a natural development server. We can now drill down into the libraries and select a full library or individual sources in a library by right-clicking and adding it to a new or existing project. We can give our project a name or just select the default name and click OK. And now we have a local copy of all the sources in our project. We can now open up a source and immediately see an outline of this source, dependencies to other objects, and information about the source itself on the right-hand side. An important thing to note is that we need to have all of the reference sources in your local project in order for Natural One's full functionality to be available. In this example, we looked at how to get the sources directly from the server environment. But nowadays, many customers want to take advantage of repositories like Git or Subversion for versioning purposes. And in that case, we would simply import an existing project from the repository into our local Eclipse workspace. We'll take a closer look at how to use repositories in the videos that cover Natural One in a DevOps environment.